What is going on, guys? It is Rexy here. Today, we are going to be playing the good old Rexy skin, because that's a funny meme. I don't know, I kind of felt like playing Apollo. But yeah, anyways, here we are, we're up against Thor Walls. Okay, let's do it. Let's see how Apollo handles against in on her. So yeah, this is uh, a pre-record, by the way. Just an FYI. So you're probably going to be seeing this Friday, I think. Or Saturday, I think. Smack. Smack. I always love Paul's auto attack animation, man. It always feels so smooth. You know? And of all the gods, I really enjoy his. I wish that this recolor did have the... Uh, I wish that the... This thing right here, like his actual, whatever you call these, like the things, like his things that he shoots stuff out of. I wish that that color also was. I should kind of change the color of his auto attack animation, but I don't think recolors are meant to do that. So the only way we would make this recolor like really good, like a solid color, like a solid skin. This little bastard. I canceled. You would have hit me. It's too bad. No, I just missed. Okay, I missed the creep. Okay, that was definitely not worth for that creep. That was good though. We got the red uh, because he went to do that little wave trick that people do for some reason. I'm the worst. I missed like all those autos. He did aggro on me though. He took a bit of damage as well. Shell. Okay, I, you know, I saw that coming. One auto cancel and one will do it. Nice! <laughs> cool. Missed the first auto, but we still managed to slap out the second one there. That was good. So it's back to base. Uh, I think it's 1700 for Devos. Just about there. Meter cells are blue buff. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I didn't have time to, uh, he didn't actually have time to shell. Because, you know, caught him off guard. It's a little it's a little difficult to time either way. So we're probably ulted this wave, actually, once we do this blue. Just so we can back, uh, start stacking. So we don't really miss out on some stacks. He's not getting any of that, any of that XP either. So it's like a win-win for us. And I doubt I'm going to have that much use practical use for my ultimate, ultim, ultimate, ultimate either way, so, it works out, and I will definitely take it. Oh my god, I just messed you up, huh? <laughs> Did he just phantom hit me, or am I crazy? I did not deserve to live there at all. Holy shit. I misplay pretty hard. That's actually hilarious. I cannot... Or, I mean, lucky as shit. I cannot believe I live there. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe I just survived that. <laughs> I deserve to die. I think that was a phantom hit. If it did hit me, then holy crap. can't believe it didn't kill me. Okay. Alrighty, let's get ourselves a mana potion. Let's get ready for the fight for that red buff there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're doing really well. We got a good early game going. I think the... I can still mess him just this out of the range of his jump if I timed appropriately. I think I did it there uh, at one point. I thought he was looking to jump. What in the shit? Some people were asking me really basic juking patterns. Like, they were like, yo, you should make a, um... Oh, 
I was shooting out to where he's gonna go, but it actually ended up hitting him beforehand because my passive kind of caught him off guard. So people were like, "Hey, yo, Rex, you should make a uh, a guide on juking patterns and stuff. Make a basic guide." Now, as much as I'd like to do that, that is a very difficult thing to go over. I try and explain little things as I go along uh, as to why I shot in a certain direction or how I read a certain movement. Um, but it's more or less kind of through experience and knowing your enemy. Not everybody jukes the same way. Not everybody does the same things. You gotta get a feel for the type of player that they are, how aggressive they are, there they seem. There's like a few factors, like which direction they're gonna juke, when they're gonna jump, why they would jump. Like, there's so many things you have to like, you know, factor in, right? So many little things. So it's a very difficult thing to... Okay, I thought it might have been coming that way. To actually go over. But there's little basic things, like obviously the backstep. Backstep is like the most simple juke of all, and I wouldn't even consider it really a juke. It's more or less just like a simple dodge, I guess. Like, but there's other things like there's people call it the backstep, but there's a more prominent way to do that without actually moving as much. One second here. Damn it. I was hoping. He knew I was waiting for it as well. Ah, we'll get some bubbling up acid here. But, like, uh, one of my favorite jukes that I love to do and mess around with, and um, I've been still developing, like, uh, in terms of, you know, like, my own improvements, uh, in terms of, you know, like, jukes and stuff, is the, it's the, I, I, since I've been playing FPSs, I've been noticing that I do this juke a lot more in Smite. It's a really easy way to confuse people. See, I don't even want to talk about this because, like, <laughs> if, if I go ahead and explain how I do things, or, like, little tips or secrets, <laughs> people are going to start using them against me and know what I do. It's, like, it, it's kind of a disadvantage to me when I play against, you know, people that watch my videos or, like, people that just pick up on the tricks. But there's little things, like, um, if you were to tap the S key, like, and just move, like, and use that to, like, your advantage. Like, like you, you see me do it all the time. Like, normally, like, through, like when I play, I normally don't talk about it. But it's like, you're moving up and you just tap, tap W and then, while you're going a certain direction. And then, like, you can really mess with people. It, it, as long as you, you, like, you're careful with it and you can read, like, when they're going to auto-attack and stuff. You can really mess with people. Because it makes you super unpredictable. Like, abs like instead of backstepping all the time, like, oh, you're going to go this way, and then you take a step back. You take a step back. You can very quickly just tap W, or, like, the opposite direction that you're going, right? Like, if you're going this way, you just tap it. You can you can really mess with people and what, what they think is going to happen. Because it's such a small movement, but at the same time, like, it, it still adds in a factor of, you know, you're juking that certain way, right? So it, it's still, like, a... A really useful thing for, for making you and all a little less predictable. <laughs> normally, if you're gonna juke a certain way, like you, you, like I remember, I used to have a problem where I'd favor the left side, and people started to pick up on it. Like I'd always preferred, like if I was to juke something, I'd normally go to the, towards the left. If I was to juke it, now like I could just, you know, like even like even small movements, like if I'm like see I'm strafing to this direction, you could just like not even like switch, but you could tap it and moving straight. Like, little movements like that can actually affect, uh, how easy, like, how difficult it is to read a person. Um, based on where you think they're gonna go. I should have waited to do that a little longer. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought I would discuss that. It's not something I really would like. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have saw that coming. I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, obviously, it's just, you know, I try to improve. Just little things, obviously, I'm not gonna do it perfectly every time, nobody's perfect. Maybe like Selena Gomez, she's pretty nice. I thought maybe he would jump there. Nice. The Dukes also kind of work with jumps, obviously. Kind of a given though. 
Juking isn't just for auto attacks, it's for practically any ability. Get ourselves back to base, I might ult towards his blue, but his, it is blue a little later actually, so I don't think I'm going to go through it. Doubt I'm going to be able to steal, it doesn't really matter all that much anyway, I can just do FG. Take my own blue. Chill! You ever been like happy that you that you didn't actually dash? <laughs> what? You just didn't jump? You're just like fuck that. <laughs> None of that shit. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna poke this if you don't mind, my friend. Smack, 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 Oh my god, I killed myself to his thorns. <laughs> well, uh, it didn't work nearly as well as I was expecting. I knew we had thorns, but I had shell. I thought I could have life steal for a little bit, shell, and then auto attack cancel into my three, and then pop off that sick one, but I think I missed the auto attack before that three of mine. Or I missed the three, rather. Uh, and it didn't hit him, and it would have killed I'm almost certain it would have killed him. If I hit that one, but then, and I wouldn't have died because, you know, it doesn't reflect the damage when you die, so. Whoops! That's whatever, it happens. Nobody's perfect, like I said. <laughs> it's whatever. Little hiccups. Mostly my hiccups, though, are me being super, super over-aggressive and expecting things to work out no matter what I do. And I have a reasoning behind it. Normally, like, it would work out if what I had in my in my head had happened like I, uh, like I imagined it to. Then I'm almost certain it would have worked out. But, see, what I normally imagine is going to happen is pretty fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and, you know, kind of over the top and a little, little unexpected. You know, like, it's a little, it's a little out there. Oh my god, the phoenix shot hit me. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, that time was just me fucking up in general. <laughs> I really messed up there. He, uh, he actually outshotted me. I feel like his autos are doing way more than mine for some reason. Maybe I was just like missing a little more? Like I know on his base damage is like stronger than mine, but maybe like I was... I had Eggsy over him though. Maybe I was just missing a ton, I didn't even notice. Damn, dude. Oh, you messed up, my friend. You messed up indeed. Do you not remember what my ultimate does? Yeah, so... Yeah, you really messed up. Yeah, when you la Yeah, I found that out the hard way. When you land with Apollo, with his ultimate, there, you have this sort of immunity frame, even though your character is like positioned on the ground, and, it, and it, there's no reason for him not... You know, I could have taken that, but whatever. There's no reason for him not to take damage. Or, I mean, not be affected by CC, considering he landed. And there's no reason... Like, he's he's landed, and he's about to start moving. Like, he's very clearly stationary on the ground. Like, you can, you can even give it a split second. Like, you can just wait, right? Oh, I killed it. You wait, and still, you're not affected by CC. Like, I remember I was playing against Enchado as Oler, and I lost because, like, of that specific reason. It's just dumb as hell. Doesn't make sense. It's like, what? Like, why does it have any reason not to... Why does he have any reason not to be CC'd in that instance? It doesn't make sense at all. Legit no sensorino. I don't know who designed it, but hey. Maybe 
pretty sure that's how they work at IRS. Okay, that was rude. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Oh, he's a bad kitty. Oops, I messed up. My pinky got stuck there. Awkward. I hate it when that happens. It's like the dumbest excuse ever, but like, I keep my pinky on like the... I use my whole arm to aim, like I've said multiple times. And I have my uh, my pinky positioned on the right side of my mouse, and sometimes when I'm turning, I my, my pinky's a little too low, and it'll stop me like this. Like, I'll... Uh, or I'll slow down and I'll stop and I won't go as far as I intended just because my pinky got in the way. It's kind of like a dumb thing. Because my mouse is like, my hand's a little too big for my mouse, I think. That's the issue. Imagine in a pro, imagine if I was pro, right? Imagine I went pro in Smite. And I'm, in, I'm playing in the World Championship. And it all, and it all comes down to one, one, one auto attack and my pinky gets stuck on my mouse like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be funny. Almost as funny as me actually being a pro player. Just kidding. I bet I probably could have went pro. If, okay, I say if, I'm not nearly as good as professional conquest players, that's obvious, that's a given. I think I could have if, the amount of time I've spent in duel, if I would have just straight up just played nothing but conquest, I feel as if I would have had a chance at least. In terms of knowledge and conquest and things like that, I mean I'm obviously nowhere near on par. I've attempt I've attempted to play competitively and stuff although mechanics don't do too much for you man like although it's great and all it's it's good to be you know skilled in terms of the actual game conquest players have so much over dual players man it's unreal like conquest mains man they are something else Like, people can be like, oh my god, I'm so much better than these players because I can, you know, hit an ability better than this person. That doesn't mean anything, man. That doesn't mean literally anything. Take it from me. I'm not trying to, like, you know, talk myself down or anything, but man, holy shit. Professional Conquest players do something else, man. It's a whole other skill entirely. In terms of knowledge and, you know, team play and, like, you know... How, how deep you can go in fights, like knowing when to engage and stuff like that. It's like, it's a whole other thing you need to learn. Oh, dude, I can't believe that. Oh, so close. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to learn. It's such a different sort of, it, it's a different game mode. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> there's skills in each game mode I find, though. I feel as if Conquest players talk down onto a little too much. Like, I get it, the game's not optimized for, for duel and stuff like that, but it still, it, it has its own factor of skill, you know, like, that's just kind of a given. Oh, we gotta be, like, a Frostbound. I could go Frostbound, but I'm not a bitch. I'm gonna go, like, a Toxic Blade, maybe. Uh, actually, let's go Audi Bow. Alright, let's get ourselves a red buff. We got his Phoenix again. We really have to push and end here soon because he's he's slowly catching up to me in terms of the build. We both are currently almost max build, and he's going to eventually catch up to that. And Honor's damage obviously does do quite a bit more than mine. His scaling and stuff. It's kind of how he is. If he pushes up a little bit though, that would be fantastic. If I could bait him back here. Although I doubt it. Yeah, he's just moving back. It's unfortunate. Don't know upgraded relics. His thorns are still up. Uh, my shell is down. His shell's down as well, though. He's he's like he's very heavily titan camping though, and it's very difficult to end as Apollo when he's doing so. Double anti heal might or double life still might might have actually been pretty decent. Okay, I was hoping the straight line juke would work there. Oh my god, what the, That guy just baited the shit out of me! I was waiting for like an hour to see him thorns, he just- Oh, that was clever. Clever girl, clever girl! <laughs> that was clever, that was- that was pretty clever, I'll give him that. He held his thorns until like, the very freaking last second, holy crap. Jesus. That was clever. But now we have both of our relics up and upgraded, so hopefully we have a little, a little, piece of a, a little bit of a chance here. 
I'm gonna ult straight to his Phoenix, his ult's down for a little bit. Yeah, Apollo's ult is quite useless in duel, if you haven't noticed by now. Do his Phoenix. I am a scumbag. No! I missed one auto attack. One auto attack. No! Dude, uh, one auto. <laughs> Fuck, he shelled as well there, right? Right? No, I'm so pissed. <laughs> this is difficult. Like, this is straight up difficult to end. Uh, we went double 10, damn. Didn't see that coming. It's definitely not worth. Wow, man, I can't believe that. <sighs> well, we got a Phoenix, though. That's like the main thing. I did not expect this game to go on so long, man. I was, like, a good bit ahead. Uh, hardly even. I was, like, a, at least a little bit ahead. The majority of the game. And somehow... Uh, late game. Honor is obviously a better god. You know, him sitting under his titan definitely doesn't help. I could backdoor, but I could just pop my thorns and continuously run back into his titan and then eventually chip it down, ult towards it. That is the strategy if you're playing to win, but I don't really care all that much. I'm going to start doing it if he continues to play very passive, though. But normally I say that, and then, you know, it gets to the point where it's like, his Phoenix is up again, and then, you know, it's one fight, and he by chance wins that one fight. <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, that's how it goes. So his Thorns are up, I'm almost certain. Get down. I missed one auto in that fight, and it screwed me over entirely. Are you really going to do this? Like, come on, dude. We're ADCs. You are the stronger ADC. You are a higher tier character than me. You are backstepping at your Titan. It doesn't get much better than this. You know, ult this wave again. Nice. That's what we needed. Boom, boom, boom. If you guys did enjoy watching that video or have any opinions, please leave me in the comments or leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Oops. Anyways, I will catch you next time, guys. Not much to go over in terms of the builds. We both have them pretty much perfect, other than I don't think that his... Um, I don't think Titan's Man was the play for him. Uh, I was also debating going double lifesteal, uh, like an Azzy here, just because he didn't have any anti-heal, and he could have definitely gotten anti-heal if that was the case. Body bow, Frostbound, uh, anti-heal item, or Azzy definitely would have worked. But anyways, that's it for the builds. Like I said, if you enjoyed... If you like, then you know the usual. Anyways, I will see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Bye 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 bye.